Hey everybody, Jimmy Tabaki here. This is a VR to Buckeye Piper who just achieved 400 subs. Congratulations, my friend. That is absolutely terrific. You wanted to know some other things about us that the YTPC community may not know. And I wanted to tell you a couple of things. When I was in fifth grade, I played, in, played piano in Carnegie Hall and also won a contest sponsored by the Music Education League of New York. That was followed up by an appearance on the educational television channel, uh, which used to be a different one than Channel 13, which it is now. So that's the first thing. Uh, through my life, I've had some really wonderful experiences. Uh, of course, moving up to 1964, everybody wanted to be a Beatle, and everybody had a band to play in. I was fortunate enough to join a band called The Outcasts, and at that time there was a record company by the name of Cameo Parkway. Uh, Dick Heatherton, who is Joey Heatherton's brother, and also uh, Ray Heatherton, who got some fame, uh, Dick Heatherton was our manager. and. We went to the studio, and his sister uh, is Joey Heatherton. And Joey came to the studio and uh, sat in the control room while I did the vocal tracks on the tune. The Philadelphia Philharmonic was bought, brought in to uh, play on the recording, and then we tried to get it on the air through various promotion and so on and so forth. We didn't make it, but what an experience. Also, uh, I was privileged to do some voiceovers for some commercials. And uh, what else have I done? Let's see. Um, in 1971, I was actually in a television movie, the ABC movie of the week, called The Man Without a Country, directed by Delbert Mann, who was a very famous uh, Hollywood director who actually directed the film called Marty that starred Ernest Borgman. Uh, we spent six glorious days in Newport, Rhode Island, and we were on a four-masted uh, schooner. The stars of the film were Cliff Robertson and Bo Bridges, just to name a couple of them, because I can't remember the other ones. That, again, was a wonderful experience. Uh, let's see what else. Oh my gosh, that's probably enough to tell you right now. I've lived a glorious, glorious life. I've had a wonderful career. And uh, to live on both sides of the spectrum uh, is a real educational experience. So Buckeye, there it is. And again, I want to congratulate you on the 400 subs. So I'll catch you later, guys. Jimmy Tabaki. I'll see you again. Thanks.